About 15 miles past Grimes Point, as we come over a rise, Sand Mountain appears, and it's really stunning. With desert all around, you might not expect to notice a big pile of sand, but it grabs your attention the moment you come upon it. It's truly spectacular. We pull over to read the historical marker for Sand Mountain Recreational Area, which is more than just a sand dune. In fact, it encompasses nearly 5,000 acres. This is one of only three singing mountains or singing sand dunes in North America. Uh, what happens is when you get the wind just right out of a certain direction, you get kind of this eerie whistling sound. Some people say the mountain even booms. The booming sounds you're most likely to hear are those from ATVs and dirt bikes. But whether you're there to play or watch, the Visitor's Welcome Pavilion offers a wealth of information on the plants, animals, and history of the Sand Mountain area. The nearby Sand Springs Desert Study Area is an alternative to those who don't wish to play in nature's giant sandbox. Uh, you were just telling me that this amazing monument has really not been around here very long. No, the sand dunes that you're seeing behind us in geologic time probably dumped here last night. Oh my. In geologic time. Uh, probably about uh, seven to 8,000 years ago when ancient Lake Lahontan dropped down and dried up. Mm -hmm. When all those sediments started getting churned up by the air at this end of the valley, uh, the wind would dump the sediments here. And now we've got a dune that's over 60 stories tall out here. My goodness. Yeah. This is kind of interesting here. I was just going to ask about you. About ancient Lake Lahont. Yes. Well, you know, uh, 10,000 years ago, we would, would have been standing under probably two, three, four hundred feet of water, if you can believe that. Ooh. I mean, not, not a drop in sight. It's hard today. to imagine today. But uh, if you look along the hillsides up here, you see those little terraces? Yeah, there's ridges all the way across. Exactly. That's right where uh, the uh, shoreline used to be. What, a, what an amazing uh, change in this area. Oh, yeah. And, and of course, the vegetation would have been very different during that time, too. It wasn't right. just like a, a desert surrounding that lake at the time. You would have had uh, at least larger brush, maybe even some trees like we see on the western uh, and eastern sides of the Sierra. So very, very different in just a eight to 10,000 year period. Some amazing history. As Dave and Mark tour Sand Mountain, doing? I have the chance to enjoy one of the area's doing biggest good. recreational attractions, off-road motorsports. I meet Keith and his son Jeff in their camp at the base of Sand Mountain. They're both motorsports enthusiasts and are eager to share the fun. You'll be taking a shower and I sand will be coming out of your ears. <laughs> like any extreme sport, safety well, is a priority. Keith oh, helps okay. me into the proper gear okay. and the sand rail okay. safety harness before we head out. You like speed, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> speed and fun are what off roading at Sand Mountain is all about. My ride with Keith is like the ultimate wild roller coaster. I never know what to expect. The ATVs, dirt bikes, and dune buggies race up the mountain making short work of 60-story expanse. We travel with such ease I don't realize we are as high as we are until we have to come back down. <laughs> 